Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanna to talk about speed reviews for a bunch of products that I've been testing out behind the scenes, but I haven't been able to include maybe in a dedicated review or a monthly favorites or anything like that. So we are going to try to move through a lot of products and I have updates for you for hair care, skin care, makeup, body, and fragrance. So I'm starting with hair today and I wanna say thank you because Shuomura Art of Hair is sponsoring today's video. And you guys know I have long hair, I have thick hair, I have a lot of it, and it is color treated, but there's something in this line for every hair type. So I've been trying out a few different things, and these are my favorites from the line, and everything is included in the Shuomura Art of Hair Friends and Family Sale, which is happening now until June 19th. So you can use the code FNF23 for 20% off plus free shipping. I'll include all of the terms and conditions in the description box below. So I've been playing around with a few of their different hair lines, um, mainly the Color Luster line. They call it their Brilliant Glaze Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's gentle, it's sulfate free. So it's going to help your hair color last longer and it leaves you with really shiny hair. And there's a shampoo and a conditioner in this line. I've also been adding in the Ultra Ultimate Reset Extreme Repair Treatment for Very Damaged Hair. I would say my hair is in like pretty good condition, but I still like a really rich hair mask to alternate with my conditioner, just so that I can, you know, add some moisture, especially to the ends of my hair. So that's when you would use this hair mask. It looks like this. You can see the texture is super rich and creamy and kind of puddingy. And I mostly work this through my ends and then I'll let it sit while I'm shaving my legs or doing a face mask or something like that. So when I want a little bit of extra indulgence, I've been reaching for this. About once a week or so, I do like to use an extra cleansing shampoo. So that's when I've been reaching for this, and this is the Gentle Radiance Deep Cleanser Weightless Shampoo for scalp and hair. And I really like this because it's a cleansing, it's a cleansing shampoo, but it doesn't strip the scalp, it's not too irritating, and I do feel like it's getting a really rich lather going, so it gets out any dry shampoo or product, hairspray, all of that. And it gives me a really thorough cleanse without completely stripping my hair so that it feels like brittle. It doesn't do that at all. And especially when I pair this with the hair mask, I get that extra cleansing as well as the deep moisture. And then after washing the hair, I have a couple of leave-in products. So this is the Izumi Tonic, and it's their strengthening energizing water with rice water. So this is essentially their leave-in treatment. It's going to leave your hair feeling softer and silkier, but one of the main qualities of this is that it also strengthens the hair over time. So I can actually use this from scalp to the tips of my hair, which I can't always do with leave-in conditioners because they can be a little bit greasy, but this one doesn't do that. Because it's a lighter texture, the brand actually suggests applying it even into your scalp and massaging it into your scalp so that your scalp is getting the benefits of this as well. So that again is the Izumi Tonic. And then lastly, I have their hair oil, and this is the Essence Absolute Nourishing Protective Oil with with camellia oil. So this is beautiful, it's really lightweight. All you need is a couple of drops, so this is going to last forever <laughs> and ever. Um, because you're able to really work it through your fingers and work it through the ends of your hair and it's going to add shine, it's going to add that like glassiness, but I really like that it's lightweight and it doesn't weigh my hair down. I hate the feeling of hair oils that you know you add just a little bit but then you lose all the volume in your hair. This won't do that. Those are my favorites. There's also a moisture line, there's the full Izumi line. So there's something for every hair type in this range and again that's 20% off with the code F and F23 until June 19th. So that's it for hair. Let's move on to some skincare. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I had a severe allergic reaction to something I ate over the weekend. And this has never happened to me before. I do have sensitive reactive skin, but my entire face swole up. I didn't have an anaphylactic reaction, like my breathing was fine, but I broke out in hives across my face and my chest and my shoulders and my skin was very, very sensitive. I paired everything back. I was basically icing my face. I was taking Benadryl. Um, I was using minimal skincare. And one of the only products that I was using was the Aven Sickle Fate um, Restorative Protection Cream or restorative protective cream. I don't think I've talked about this on my page before because it's not a very um, exciting skincare product, but it is one of those hardworking 
skin soothing products for me. This is interesting because it's kind of a dry feeling cream and it's very, very stiff the way it comes out on the hand. And it is white in color because it contains copper zinc. And that zinc is the same kind of zinc that's used in mineral SPFs. But zinc is very healing on sensitive skin. And this is a thick kind of dry emollient cream. But what that does is, is it essentially kind of locks in any moisture so that you don't lose more moisture while your skin barrier is irritated or is having issues at all. It contains emollients like mineral oil and beeswax and these ingredients kind of create that barrier to allow skin healing to happen. It doesn't contain any fragrance. I basically move away from any and all potentially irritating ingredients and I just pare it down to the basics. And I have used this on my face, neck, and chest. And it's Wednesday now. I had the reaction on Saturday evening and I've basically only been using this. So it's been really, really helping. I don't have a lot of answers, um, but I do have an appointment with an allergist. I'm sort of taking it easy until then. I think you can see I'm wearing very minimal makeup, but this has been an absolute savior for me. Let's talk about SPFs. I have an update on a Korean SPF and also a new Japanese SPF that I've really been liking. So this is one that I hauled in Seoul, but it's readily available in the US. And this is the Round Lab Birch Juice Sunscreen. It's SPF 50 PA4 pluses. It uses all chemical filters. It's very, very gentle on the skin. And it's this really light uh, consistency and it sinks into the skin beautifully. You can see it's, it's sheer almost right away. So you don't have any physical filters in here. You won't get that white cast. And this is really nice because it's hydrating, but it kind of sets down to a slightly velvety finish. So it's not really um, dewy on the skin. Some, some SPFs can leave that sheen. And among the Korean SPFs that I love, I would say it's a slightly more matte finish or at least a natural finish. So if you have oily skin, especially going into these summer months and you don't want dewiness on your face, I would go for this one. It's been a really, really lovely addition. And I like that it's lightweight so I can add layers without it feeling too heavy and I can get the appropriate coverage. The other one I've been trying is the Kiss Me Mommy Waterproof Sunscreen UV Aqua Milk. SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses. So this is a Japanese SPF. So I picked this up because it has sheerness, it has all chemical filters. I've heard it has a lightweight texture, but it's waterproof. And not a lot of um, Korean SPFs, the popular ones that I use in my day to day are waterproof. And especially going into summer, you know, we're at the beach, we're at the pool, we're sweating. I need more waterproof options, especially if I'm going to be outside. And this is lovely. It has a really lightweight fluid texture and you would never know that it's waterproof. Sometimes waterproof sunscreens are a little bit thicker or richer or have a tackier feeling. This one doesn't feel like that. It has that gel cream texture, but then it sets down and it does become waterproof and it sets down relatively quickly and makeup wears on top of it nicely. It's sheer. So I've really, really enjoyed having this as an option and it also is not shiny. And I feel like a lot of waterproof SPFs do look shiny on the face. So again, these are both great options. Just one is waterproof and one is not. So that's it. I've been keeping things really simple with skincare, with barrier repair and SPF. So let's move on real quick to makeup. I've had this little eyeshadow palette in my everyday makeup bag for about a month or two. And I've constantly been reaching for it, but I haven't talked about it. And it is the Ciate London Cranberry Palette. I love the size of this palette. This is one of those nine pan palettes and it looks like this. It's such a beautiful color story. It has a really nice balance of mattes and shimmers. And this shimmer is especially beautiful. It's one of those um, like swirly pan <laughs> shades. Something I've noticed about this palette is that even though it's called the Cranberry Palette, it's not super red leaning. There is a red metallic here, but overall it leans towards caramely brown, I think more than red. So let me swatch a few of these shades for you. Let me go into the fun swirly metallic. These are really smooth, beautiful shades, easy to wear, not overly pigmented, which I like for every day. The mattes are really nice and soft and velvety. 
And then this is the cranberry shade and you do get some serious payoff with that. I'll be honest, Ciate London is not a brand I am super familiar with or that I've tried a lot of, but this little eyeshadow palette has snuck its way into my everyday makeup bag because I have what I need for everyday shades for mattes. But then there are some really pretty like pops of color, some pretty pinks and purples for that inner corner highlight if I want. And I have to say it has surprised me. It's a really cute little palette that's found its way into my life and I've been reaching for it a ton because it has a lot of utility. If you've been following me, you will know I've been testing out a lot of new blushes lately. And one of the blushes I've been loving but I haven't been able to talk about um, is the new Persona limited edition shade of their cream blush. They created this shade called Bloom and it's the most beautiful peach peachy pink but it's not too orange and it's not too pink this is a swatch of it here it has just enough brightness without leaning orange. Finding that really balanced peach tone can actually be quite difficult. Sometimes peaches lean more orange or deeper or earthier, but this is um, still bright. And this is a formula that I love. I have talked about it many, many times before. My other favorite shade in this line is Teddy, and that's more of like a neutral peach like a beigey pink. This has that peachiness with the pink to it. And I believe this shade was um, created in collaboration with Sarah Wolak, who is a content creator. And I just think it's the most beautiful summery shade. I think this is a shade that's going to work across a lot of different skin tones as well, because it's going to pop whether you have light skin and fair skin or deeper skin. I think this is going to show up on a lot of different skin tones and depths. So yeah, this is a formula that's super easy to use. You can swipe on directly to the cheeks or you can pick it up with a brush and then tap it onto the cheeks. You really can't go wrong. It's just a really classic formula that's not too dewy or too matte. And I've really, really been enjoying this shade. So I have a new shade of a product or a formula that I already love. And this is In Beauty Project's Lip Oil. And they recently sent over, I think all of their shades to me. And this is the shade Merlot. It's what I'm wearing on my lips now. It's such a gorgeous shade. It looks very deep in the tube, but because it's a sheer juicy lip oil formula, it shears out on the lips. So you've got this amazing chubby doe foot applicator. I love it. It's very satisfying. I'll reapply it now. And you can see it does really sheer out on the lips and on the lips, it almost looks like a, like a berry, but because it has that translucency, it's not so intense or as intense as a fully pigmented lipstick. I also like this formula because it doesn't slip around or move outside my lip lines. Even though as a lip oil, it's not super, super thick. I feel like it's coating my lips, but it doesn't move around <laughs> and it's not um, slippy slidey. I also paired this with just a brown lip liner and I think it's a really nice combo. You can see even with minimal makeup. I just did my brows and like a skin tint today. It still adds a bit of something. I think it's really nice for makeup minimalists or even with no makeup. When you just wanna add a little bit of life to the lips and to the face, these are a great way to do that. For a bit more drama, you guys know I love Half Magic Beauty's liquid eyeshadows. They call them their Chrome Addiction um, eye paints. I paint plus liner, you can use them either way. But um, I wanna say a couple months ago, they released a new collection called their Magic Nudes Collection. And in that collection, they came out with three new shades of their Chrome Addiction eye paints, and they are stunning. So there are two metallics and one matte. Let me swatch them for you. This is Magic Brownie, and if you're not familiar, they have a lip shade called Magic Brownie, one of their like lip clouds, I wanna say, mouth clouds. And it's a gorgeous like ready brown, and I'm so excited to see this in liquid eyeshadow form. These are so beautiful. You can see how evenly pigmented this is, and it blends out in the most beautiful way. You get that really soft, diffused, velvety look and you can use a finger, you can use a brush. It just gives you such an elegant application, but it gives you that really beautiful, like rusty clay terracotta color. Then they have two metallic shades. Um, one of them I've been using more, and this is called Lil Beast. And it's a gorgeous like champagne shimmer. 
looks like that. And I hope this comes across on camera, but in person, it has the most magical mix of silver and rose gold and gold micro glitters in there. And it looks really wet across the eye. You can even see the way it's reflecting light on my hand. It's so stunning. And these really do set down. And once they set down, they don't budge. So it's a really reliable liquid eyeshadow formula. The other shade is um, Baby Phoenix. And this is a gorgeous like garnet ruby sort of shade. But then it has like a gold flip to it. There's gold glitter within it. So you can see they all go really well together and you can use each of them alone. You can layer them together. But I really love the shade curation here. And I have to say, if I, if I had to pick just one, it would be Lil Beast, the middle one, just because this goes so beautifully even on a bare eye. Because it's a great one and done eyeshadow. Even if you just use this shade across the eye, it's really, really stunning. So moving into fragrance, I have a few different picks that are all under $100. And these are all at different Different price points under $100. I know fragrance can get very, very expensive. So I have been trying to have a focus on finding those more affordable fragrance hits that I enjoy as much as I like my other more luxury fragrances. So the first thing I want to mention is a new to me brand called Our Side, and they are a Bronx based brand and they are super cute. They're all unisex scents and I've really been enjoying this rollerball of their moon dust scent. So let me just read you the notes on this. The top notes are cedarwood, grapefruit, and jasmine. Middle notes are peppermint and anise. And the bottom notes are vetiver, juniper berries, and palo santo. So it has this woody base to it with a bit of freshness up top. And I find this to be a very clean scent. When I first read the notes, I thought it would be more citrusy or more floral, but it just has this really uplifting, light, fresh airiness to it. And I have really been enjoying it. I think it would work for a lot of different people. It's not a perfume with a ton of projection, but I think it's that can be kind of nice for a daytime perfume. And this is something I would consider an everyday friendly perfume because it has that fresh, clean quality to it. So I will link this below. It appears to be sold out on their website, but I think it's also available at other retailers. And this is a really good size roller ball. It's 10 milliliters. Um, that's 0.3 ounces and this is $79. The next perfume I've been enjoying is so much fun. This is Vacation Inks Perfume, their Eau de Toilette. And if you're not familiar with Vacation, they're primarily an SPF brand. They make spray SPFs, lotion SPFs, they make this whipped cream SPF and their whole brand aesthetic is very like 80s nostalgia and their branding reflects that. It's very cute, very kind of kitschy and fun. And this perfume smells exactly like an old school sunscreen in the best ways. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is a glass bottle, it's very weighty, but even this has that very like old school vintage quality to it. And it smells like coconut, it smells like the beach, it smells like sunscreen, not the chemically notes of sunscreen, but like that really old school, almost like banana boat sunscreen, but like fancy. The top notes of this are petite grain essence, coconut water, coconut milk, Heart notes are bergamot, solar musk, banana, and pineapple. And base notes are pool water, swimsuit, lycra, and sea salt. And you do get that instant connection to sitting by the pool, sitting by the beach, ordering a pina colada, and it's hot and you're sweaty and all of the good things about summer are wrapped up in this perfume. So if you're into that and that sparks happy memories or joy for you. I think you would really, really love this. And you can tell I'm smiling as I'm talking about it. It just makes me really happy. The last perfume is the most affordable. It comes in at $25 and it's the Le Monde, um, Le Monde Gourmand triple zero perfume. And this is probably my favorite perfume that I've smelled from them. And I have tried quite a few of their scents. This is a very classic clean scent, but it has a bit of creaminess and brightness to it as well. So the top notes on this are Italian bergamot and freesia. Middle notes are water lily, 
and the base notes are creamy sandalwood. You guys know I love a creamy scent and this gives you that creamy, beautiful dry down on the skin, but it opens a little bit brighter and cleaner and fresher. And it also has a unisex quality to it that I really like and I think it smells so much more expensive than $25. And it has a complexity to it that you do see in more expensive fragrances. Whether you're on a budget or not, I think a lot of people will enjoy this. The last thing I wanna mention are these really cute reusable containers. So this is by a brand called Rise, R-I-E-S. Looks like this, this is their branding. And they have come out with reusable bottles and containers that feel really high quality and give you a pump mechanism. They're an airless pump without the like straw <laughs> going down the tube. And they're elegant, they're really cute, the packaging is really chic, and you can wash them and reuse them over and over and over, and you can sterilize them. So they have a smaller tube and a bigger tube. Let me just show you what these look like. So the pump mechanism has a lock, so you can travel with it, it won't squirt out everywhere. And then there's a twist cap, and it's an airless pump mechanism. So what that means is the bottle, um, or the bottom of the tube kind of comes up as you're using it, and once it comes all the way to the top and the product is empty, you can rinse it out and then you just push it back down, refill it with product and you can use it again and again and again. And it does feel really high quality. I think it's brilliant because I do have um, travel little tubes and stuff that I use from Daiso or Target or something, but they're all kind of cheap quality and they don't feel substantial. They don't feel really nice and they don't always last because they're not good quality. This feels like something substantial, something I can use over and over and over, and something that I know I can get a long life out of. And if the point of reusable products is to reduce waste, then you wanna get the longest wear you can out of these out of these items. They're also dishwasher safe, which I think is amazing. Just keep it in the top rack of your dishwasher. Oh, and I should mention the small container is 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces, and the big container is 100 milliliters and 3.4 ounces. So I think that's it for me today. I know we hit a lot of different categories, but these are a bunch of different things that I've been enjoying and testing out behind the scenes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I wanna say thanks again to Shuamura Art of Hair for sponsoring this video. And of course I will leave again all of the information for the Shuamura Art of Hair friends and family sale in the description box below, along with links to everything. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.